So get up and move that body. Hello dear viewer, welcome to episode 3 of Brain Care Series. I'm glad to have you back here. Imagine that moment that your doctor invites you into the consultation room after several tests have been conducted and advises you to see a neurologist. That is the time you really become aware of your brain, the engine of your life. You leave that room hoping and praying that it may not be something serious. This was my family's situation three years ago when my sister underwent brain MRI scanning and the doctor noticed a physical problem in the brain imaging, then advised her to see a neurologist. As a family, we hoped and prayed that it was something manageable, but to cut the long story short, we lost her five months later. Your brain is your command center and your control system. It is responsible for your cognitive functions, your motor functions, and all the processes that regulates your body. My intention with this series is to make you become aware of your brain and consciously learn to take good care of it for it to serve you much better. Like I have always said, it is time that you become the pilot of your brain and not just the passenger. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to an interesting pair that research has found to have immediate effect on your brain. It improves your concentration and your mood. It also has long-term effect on your brain and can protect your brain. What are some of the characteristics of this pill? It is cheap and cost close to nothing. It is taken once, three to four times a week. The time that it takes to become effective is 30 minutes. It is not bitter and doesn't stick on your throat. It doesn't have side effects. What is this pill? Any physical activity that improves your heart rate for 30 minutes, three to four times a week, is important for your brain functioning. This can range from walking, slashing around your compound, or doing push-ups. It all depends on where you're starting from as far as physical exercise is concerned. So how does physical activity improve brain functioning? Physical activities boost blood flow to the brain, and this facilitates supply of oxygen and nutrients, including energy, to various parts of the brain, leading to mental stimulation. Physical activities also produces a ripple effect in that it balances your blood sugar level, improves your blood cholesterol, and maintains your blood pressure. This impacts your brain functioning, but we'll engage more on them in the next episodes. Now, how can you exercise? Must you go to the gym? The answer is no. And this takes me back to a comment I made earlier. It depends on where you're starting from. Take evening or morning walk or run. You can even add weight by carrying a load. You don't need to get dumbbells to have loads. You can carry a bag with some stuff inside it. Add physical activities into your daily routine. You can do physical cleaning. You can slash around your compound. You can even go to the garden. Yeah, this has worked for my mom. There's a time she left working in the garden. She engaged people, but she gained a lot of weight and decided to go back to working in the garden at least uh, maybe one hour in a day or even more and that has really helped her she has lost a lot of weight and she's now active you can play around with kids play ball games with them run around with them this actually improves your moods and also increases your heart rate skip rope do crunches or push-ups just take it easy. Start small and graduate. Gradually move into some things, some complicated things. Don't start with something that is complicated that demoralizes you. Yeah. So have good choices so long as it is something that increases your heart rate. We always wait until we gain weight or we become overweight to start exercising or working out. Don't wait for that moment. There are those people who are lean, but they are physically inactive. They can't walk even 100 meter distance. So 
don't wait until you gain weight for you to start working out. You can also find YouTube workout videos and exercise along. Actually, this is what has worked for me. I don't usually go to the gym because of accessibility and some other factors that may not apply to you. If you can go to the gym, that is well and good because in the gym you can find accountability partners. Even your trainer can be an accountability partner to encourage you to continue doing that. That is why people prefer working out socially so that they can find somebody who can mentor them and also encourage them to continue working out. So if you are able to go to the gym and or have a social workout group, then that is a good way to go. For me at this point, I work out in the house, but I think with the time, I may gradually move to the gym. And you people, Kindly note that working out is not just for the physical outlook, the physical appearance. It is important for your health, your body regulatory functions. We'll finish with this quote, if you know, you know. The best time to start exercising was yesterday, but the second best time to start is now. So get up and move that body. Thank you so much for creating time to watch this video and I hope it won't end here. Create time, work out and improve your general health and that will have an effect on your brain. Thank you.